CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5 This is the chapter 3 part 3 page 44 puzzles with five squares measure the side of a small square on the squared paper on page 45 Make as many shapes as possible using five such squares. Three are drawn for you. Page 45 We see the picture of a large square gridded space with the three shapes already drawn for the students using five squares. Rest of the shapes have to be drawn by you. Question Part A How many different shapes can you draw? Dash Part B. Which shape has the longest perimeter? How much? Dash centimeters. Part C. Which shape has the shortest perimeter? How much? Dash centimeters. Part D. What is the area of the shapes? Dash square centimeters. That's simple. Page 46. Did you get all the 12 shapes using 5 squares? Below this question we see the picture of that square grid with 12 shapes shown in different colors. Besides this picture we see a bird standing and telling us. All 12 shapes are arranged here to make a rectangle. This is a 10 by 6 rectangle as there are 10 rows and 6 columns. You will be surprised to know that there are more than 2,000 ways in which these shapes make a 10 by 6 rectangle. Draw all the 12 shapes on a sheet of cardboard and cut them. Try to arrange your 12 shapes in some other way to make a 10 by 6 rectangle. Could you do it? Try another puzzle. You have to make a 5 by 12 rectangle with these 12 shapes. There are more than 1000 ways to do it. If you can find even one, that's great. Page 47 Game Time Here is a chess board. Play this game with your partner with one set of 12 shapes. Below this we see a chess board and two kids playing on it. The first player picks one shape from the set and puts it on the board, covering any five squares. The other player picks another shape and puts it on the board, but it must not overlap the first shape. Keep taking turns until one of you can't go any further. Whoever puts the last piece wins. Make your own tile. Remember the floor patterns in Math Magic Book 4, pages 117 to 119? You had to choose the correct tile which could be repeated to make a pattern so that there were no gaps left. For the teacher. Encourage children to try to do these pentomino puzzles at home. Such exercises can be designed for shapes with six squares, that is, hexominoes, in which case there will be 35 different shapes possible. Page 48 Zidi went to a shop and was surprised to see the different designs of tiles on the floor. Aren't these beautiful? We see three different designs of tiles displayed here, with all different colors, shapes and patterns drawn on them. Question. Can you find the tile which is repeated to make each of these floor patterns? Circle a tile in each pattern. After looking at the patterns, Ziri wanted to make her own yellow tile. You too make a tile this way. Step 1. 
take a piece of cardboard or thick paper. Draw a square of side 3 cm on it. Step 2. Draw a triangle on any one of the sides of this square. Step 3. Draw another triangle of the same size on another side of the square. But this time, draw it inside the square. Step 4. Cut this shape from the cardboard. Your tile is ready. What is its area? Page 49. Make a pattern using your tile. Trace the shape to repeat it on a page. But remember, there must be no gaps between them. Ziri made a pattern using her yellow tiles. You know the area of her tile? Below this we see Ziri and the pattern she made using her yellow tiles. Answer these. How many tiles has she used? What is the area of the floor pattern Ziri has made here? Practice time. Ziri tried to make some other tiles. She started with a square of 2 cm side and made shapes like these. We have four different shapes shown here. They are marked A, B, C and D and all of them are in different colors. Look at these carefully and find out which of these shapes will tile a floor without any gaps. Discuss. What is the area of these shapes? Make designs in your copy by tiling those shapes. Now you create your own new tiles out of a square. Can you do the same with a triangle? Try doing it. For the teacher. In class 3 and 4, basic shapes like squares, rectangles, hexagons, triangles, circles etc. were used to examine which of those can tile and which do not tile to make floor patterns. Children must now be able to modify basic shapes to create different tiling shapes. In the exercise above, they may create new shapes out of a square that do not tile even though their area remains the same as that of the square from which they are made. Part 3 The chapter 3 ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production by Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India